As absolute monarchy declined, some thought the struggle for liberty had been won. If the people control government, why worry about limiting government's power? Surely the people don't need to be protected from themselves. But Mill is skeptical. Even a democratic government, he maintains, can destroy liberty. Majorities can tyrannize minorities. Since the French Revolution, it was now perceived that such phrases as self-government and the power of the people over themselves do not express the true state of the case. The people who exercise the power are not always the same people with those over whom it is exercised. And the self-government spoken of is not the government of each by himself, but of each by all the rest. The will of the people, moreover, practically means the will of the most numerous or the most active part of the people, the majority, or those who succeed in making themselves accepted as the majority. The people, consequently, may desire to oppress a part of their number, and precautions are as much needed against this as against any other abuse of power.